hi viewers welcome back in today's video we are going to discuss about triage management in critical patients and it is a very important topic in the critical care management triage means to sort or to choose it is the process in which the right patient is selected in the right time to the right place for the right treatment you can broadly divide triage into two categories of disaster and non disaster management the aim for triage management during a disaster is to provide effective treatment for the greatest number of people here we are more worried about the quantity of the people in saving their lives and the quality comes to the next step whereas in a non disaster management the aim is to provide the best possible care for each available patient let us begin triage management with the simple step of start start is nothing but simple triage and rapid transport here we have four color codes the red yellow green and black where the red is for critically ill patients who need immediate care yellow is given for clients who is not in immediate danger but require care or treatment that can be delayed whereas the green code is given for clients who can ambulate and can care for their own injuries or critical injury is already treated whereas the black is the final code in which the client is with severe injuries and who are expected to die now let us discuss about emergency department triage or the non disaster triage in detail the objectives in an emergency department triage is to identify the patients who require immediate attention to determine the appropriate area of care that is needed to facilitate the flow of patient in the casualty and to prevent unnecessary congestion and crowding in the emergency department also to provide a constant assessment and reassessment for the awaiting patients to provide adequate information for the patients and their families to divert the patient to the right referral centers and to reduce the anxiety and to provide adequate psychological support for the client and their relatives in an emergency department triage we have five levels level 1 is resuscitation which is usually coded with red color the level 2 resuscitation is emergent and that is given an orange color the yellow color stands for urgent which is the level 3 triage and the level 4 is less urgent and level 5 is non urgent triage the time for nursing assessment in an level 1 triage is immediate and also the physician assessment to be done immediately the clients with severe cardiac arrest respiratory arrest major injuries active seizures shock and status asthmaticus fall in this category of level 1 resuscitation next we have the level 2 triage which is urgent here the time for nursing assessment is immediate but the physician can take 15 minutes to reach the patient clients with decreased level of consciousness severe respiratory distress chest pain with cardiac involvement severe abdominal pain gi bleeding chemical exposures to eye 
abnormal vital signs all fall under the category of urgent or emergency. Next we have the level 3 of urgent category. Here the nursing assessment is supposed to be less than 20 minutes and the physician assessment is less than 30 minutes. Clients with head injury with history of vomiting, loss of consciousness, mild to moderate respiratory distress, GI bleeding which is not active, acute psychosis all fall under the category of level 3 triage which is yellow in color. Next we have the level 4 management which is less urgent. Here both the physician and the nursing assessment can be done within one hour. Client with head injury, alert patients, no history of vomiting, chest pain, no history of respiratory distress, no cardiac suspect, depression with no suicidal attempt all belong to the level 4 triage which is green in color. Finally, we have level 5 category triage which is non-urgent. Here the conditions that can be delayed with no distress are categorized. Here the nursing assessment and the physician assessment can be done within 2 hours. Clients with minor trauma, sore throat with temperature less than 39 fall under this category of non-urgent triage. The basic triage component includes the across the room assessment which consists of triage history, triage physical examination and the triage decision making. Across the room assessment is done under four categories of airway, breathing, circulation and disability. So the assessment of airway includes airway obstruction, abnormal airway sounds as wheeze strider and the grunting, abnormal breathing sounds as sniffing postures, siloria or drooling of saliva, aphasia or absence of sound or inability to speak. In breathing, we have to assess for skin discolorations as cyanosis or dusky skin. We have to assess for tachypnea, bradypnea or apnea, retractions or use of accessory muscles for breathing must be assessed. Assess for abdominal breathing, nasal flaring, grunting, wheezing and abnormal breath sounds. In circulation, we assess for skin color changes as pale skin, mortal skin, uncontrolled bleeding and flushing. The neurological assessment is done to assess the decreased level of consciousness, decreased interaction with the environment, irritability, decreased orientation to family members, level of pain perception, flaccid muscles and hyperactive muscle tone. Now let us discuss the important part of the topic, the characteristic features of a triage nurse. Extensive knowledge in emergency medical care system, adequate and updated knowledge, competencies in ICU techniques and procedures, multiple language proficiency, adequately trained and skilled practitioners,
the nurse must also possess critical thinking and problem solving capabilities and must be a good decision maker the role of a triage nurse includes creating a good ipr with the patients holds privacy and confidentiality of the patient constant observation of all the patients even during receiving new patients adequate communication between the triage area and the treatment area keeping updated with the waiting area providing a high quality of care with the available resources finally we have retriaging or reassessment reassess the client within 1 to 2 hours of initial triage and keep reassessing to assess for the improvement or for deteriorating conditions of the patients patients who are improving can be shifted to their respective wards and who are showing improvement can be continued with the treatment area dear students we have a case scenario here a casualty is admitted in an icu with severe bleeding who is unresponsive with a pulse rate of students, 1 we have a case scenario minute. respiratory rate of 58 per minute with cold and clammy skin the questions the client falls under which category of triage the probable diagnosis is the immediate action that is supposed to be taken is you can give your answers in the comment section hope this video was interesting and useful thanks for watching and subscribe for more videos